The last win is always the toughest. For three straight games, the Dodgers have been one win away from clinching the NL West. However, they have twice lost to the Pirates and Tuesday fell to the Padres. It can't happen again on Wednesday, right? Well, they're at Petco. John Garland, an undetermined postseason role, so that means this is a big start for him. Bottom one, not off to a good start. Chase Sidley, the single. Tony Gwynn comes in. one nothing Padres. Then in the third, to make things ugly, Kevin Kuzminoff. And it's a three-run jack, 18th for the Coos, 4-0 Padre. Next inning, check this play out. Man on to third base. Tony Gwynn is going to hit the ground ball to second. Orlando Hudson goes home with it. And they have Everett Cabrera hung out to drive. Russell Martin's throw, though, gets away. And then watch what happens. We have interference called on Mark Loretta. Loretta's like, what the heck did I do? I didn't do anything wrong here. Well, take a look at this. He went WWE on Cabrera, hooks the leg. Nice job. Karate Kid would be proud. Or the other guy in the Karate Kid movie. Cabrera able to score five nothing Padres. Here we go. Top five. Loretta. And look at David Eckstein. See, that's karma. You try tripping, guys. You start grabbing legs. David Eckstein comes back and gets you. That's the way it goes. Go to the top of the sixth now. Clayton Richard throwing a heck of a ball game for the San Diego Padres. He strikes out Manny Ramirez. One of two Ks for Richard. Then in the seventh, it's Mark Loretta to fly out to center. Richard allows only one hit in seven scoreless frames. Go to the ninth. Potter's trying to put the wraps on a one-hitter. Luke Gregerson out of the pen. And this kid's been nasty. Gets Orlando Hudson, Nanny Ramirez, then he walks Matt Kemp, comes back, gets James Loney anyway. So one-hit shutout for the San Diego Padres. Clayton Richard with his ninth win as the Dodgers again fail to clinch the NL West. Their magic number remains at one. Now that means if the Rockies win on Thursday, it sets up an intriguing three-game weekend series head-to-head -head against the Rockies. If the Rockies win all three of those, they would be NL West champs.